In case I didn't waste enough money on Genshin in-game, I thought why not blow some extra cash on buying the official merch. So I pretty much picked up everything on Ami Ami related to my favorite character, Beidou. She's pretty much the reason I'm addicted to Genshin and I can't quit. She totally deserves to be a 5 star character. But I picked up my first acrylic stand. Uh, I always thought these were kind of silly, like why waste space on a desk or shelf when you can just get a print or poster. But seeing them in person, they are pretty nice, though the protective film they put on is pretty damn annoying. They don't give you a place to start, so you just have to like pick at the edges with your nail. And they're like vacuum sealed onto it. It's just really annoying when it's like these tiny little pieces, but I do really like the electro symbol as the base. You also have that splash art background with the Chinese lanterns and clouds. And of course, Beto herself looking extra fine and badass with that giant claymore. The fact that this has two layers really helps justify it taking up 3D space. But it's pretty cool for $10 and it's nice copium until we get an official figure of her. You know, I really did go overboard because I also got her can badge, which I never buy. Like, I don't know what I would put this on, like, I never go out with a backpack or anything. Maybe I'll just pierce it onto my skin. A while back they had a Genshin concert for 2021, so they did some original artwork for it. So I picked up another acrylic stand of Beto playing the cello in a very classy dress. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a second layer, but it does come with a tiny stand with a music note on it. On the plus side, Beto is a little bit bigger, as you can see, she's about the same height sitting down. But it doesn't stop there, I also picked up a third acrylic stand. This is a chibi version of the concert Beto. This one was like $5, but it's pretty cute if the camera could ever focus. Though the base for this one is purple, which is a little more fitting given that she's electro element. They also give you a little thing in case you want to use it as a keychain, but I don't really want my keys scratching it. They also include this extra large base, which I have no idea what it's for. Now this next one is pretty unnecessary. I believe this is a ticket holder. I don't know who's still using physical tickets in this day and age. Maybe I just need to go to fancier concerts or operas. Included with that was a smaller one for the Chibi Beto. This one also doubles as a mini envelope so I can hold stickers or something. All of this was nice, but we still got that big box. This is the birthday goods set, which came out to around $13. I mean, if you're into packaging, this comes in a pretty fancy box, but in the game, characters will send you a little letter and gift on their birthday. Since this is the one for Beto, they included a copy of the letter she sends you, but I think this one is in Chinese, so for all I know, this could be Beto's restraining order. You also get clear stickers of the items they send you. But best of all, they give you a can badge and a shikishi board. Unlike the other can badge which was glossy and reflective, this one just seems a little more high quality. The artwork is more of a matte finish, but it also has that gold embroidering. Totally gonna keep this one on the paper. Now I believe you only saw this artwork if you follow Mahoyo's social media, but it comes in a fancy perforated packaging. And I gotta say, this thing is a total beauty, really digging the gold border on it. It's also got these little flaps on the back, so you can have it stand on its own like a little picture frame. But if you're into Genshin, I totally recommend you get these for your favorite character. Anyways, I'm gonna go start building my Beto Shrine, but as always, thanks for watching, subscribing would be awesome, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye